Hello, today I'm here with a new video. And it feels in the camera like I look like someone from The Walking Dead or something. I tried new settings on camera and I don't know if I fucked everything up. But I think we have to go like this. But I, I am pale, but I don't know if I'm this pale. Today I'm going to try out one of the other palettes that I ordered in my Colourpop order. And I am testing out the Mar palette. I'm mostly looking forward to the Soul palette, but I think I'm doing the Mar palette first. So this is a palette with mostly blue and green shades. A couple of... Okay, it's three. <laughs> three, two blues and one green and then a lot of brown and shimmery so I'm trying out this today and as you might know I don't like blue and green and purple but I'm trying and I think I'm starting to liken it a little bit more I'm not loving it but I'm starting to like it a little bit more so today I'm using this palette and I it's nine colors and I think it would be fun if I don't take the things I always take. I don't know if I'm going to try to make a halo eye. So maybe use um, this one in the crease. And then take the green one and the matte blue one. The palette feels very plastic. And it is of plastic. Um, but it's a little bit heavy so it doesn't feel cheap and light and that it's, I like. And it's a mirror in it. I like mirrors in palettes. It's nothing that I really really need. But I like to have a mirror. And uh, I like also this that the lid can go all the way. I hate palettes that the lid stays here. It's one thing I don't like about palette. The names of the shadows is only on the back side of the palette and not inside and I don't get why brands do this it's not easy for us to use it and know which color because you have to flip the palette over all the time we're gonna start and I going to start with this color and it's called Boozy I think and I am going to use an eyeshadow base because I always use an eyeshadow base. I have talked about this before. And I don't know if I have to take glitter glue for the halo. You have to see. Okay, so I take a fluffy blending brush and take the color that I think is Bosey. And I put this in my crease. In my whole video my Colourpop haul. I also tried the Yes Please palette for the first time and I really like those colors and I'm expecting the same for this but you never know but this one I like I think it's a good crease color and it's easy to blend Do you see what I'm doing? it's easy to blend and yes. So now the boozy color is on. Now I'm taking this blue one, El Ray. That seems correct, not the detour. No. This El Ray. If I mix up the names, I will write on the screen if I have done it. Um, so I will take this and put it on my outer corner and in my inner corner and uh, we are going to try to make a halo eye today okay this is a little bit lighter than I expected it is a little bit darker in the pan and a little bit darker in the pan and on the eyes but it's nothing that I'm disappointed at and it feels like 
this is going like French. It came longer in on this side. I think I like to pack them on. And I have no fallouts yet, even though I have taken a lot on the brush and packed it on. And this came too close to the center of the lid. This always happens when I'm going to do a halo eye. I don't know if <laughs> this, this one was a good crease color. I think I should have maybe done it without the crease color. I don't know. Now I'm going to take the same shadow again and put it in my inner corner and if I'm gonna make this halo eye I have to control myself I think I should have taken this blue color in my crease as well I'm not taking the brown one I think that has, would have come out better than this so I leave it like this for now. I think this eye is going to be a little bit better because on this eye the blue is too far in. It's going to be a crooked halo eye. I hope I can fix it. It's always my left eye. It's like I'm not having control of what I do. The left eye. Okay, so now we will take this green shimmer shade that's called My Way. And I don't know which brush I should use. I take this one. Okay. But this brush is working good. And this color, I I don't think I need any glitter glue because this one can you see this? It's sticking to the eye really really good and it's also going really good with the blue one. I can put it over the blue but it's still visible so the blue does not take over and this does not take over either and it's not as shimmery that I thought it should it was going to be but it's it's a nice color I really like this maybe I have to change my mind about the blue and Green. I really like how these blend together. Okay, so the, when I take the blue one and put it a little bit over the green one, I took the wrong pencil. No, I did not. It doesn't take over. So they are, are working together and not laying on top of each other. Okay, I could have skipped the brown eyeshadow on uh, in the crease because now I don't like it there I think I could have gone without the crease color and just blended these two colors up instead I think that have been better and looked better together okay so I will do the my face and I it is a little bit of fallout that I will take away and then I do the rest of my eyes, my face and my eyes. I think I'm going to do the same underneath my eyes. So a halo underneath my eyes too. Because I really like this. I'm a little surprised that I'm liking this as much as I do. So I'll be back when I have fixed the rest of my face. And we can fix it under the eyes together. So I come back when I have put on my face. So I'm going to take the same shadows underneath my eyes. And I'm thinking to try to make a halo um, under my eyes as well. So I will start with the blue one.
Is it only my mouth that is opening every time I'm going to do this? The one thing I don't like about putting eyeshadows on my lower lash line is because when I do this, my eyelashes are tingling a little bit. Not tingling. But they are moving back and forth forth and it's like and there I poke my eye instead. Okay, the dark blue shadow is dear dear dear. And now I'm going to take this shimmer one. And I don't know if this is going to stick on here and really be visible. And for lipstick I'm taking a lipstick aftershock also from Colourpop and that is the complete look. I'm really happy with it. I usually don't like these kind of colors as I said but I like these and these are so easy to work with and this palette was $12. I bought the Soul and the Mar and it was $24 so it's $12 and that's a good price for this kind of shadows so I have at least used four of these and I am surprised that I like this look this much because it's not my favorite colors it's not what I usually wear but I think it turned out good and super easy to work with the shimmer shadow so good so I really like it I think these are still available first I thought it was a limited edition and first I thought I missed them but then they come in again so I don't know how long they will be at Colourpop I usually don't look so much at Colourpop because it's expensive to get it here in Sweden, to get it to Sweden so I don't go into Colourpop that much because I don't want to see all the things I can't buy so I'm really happy with this one the next palette I will try out is the Soul palette and I hope it's as good as this one and I hope you really like this video. If you want to see the rest of the stuff that I bought from Colourpop, I can leave the haul up here. I really like Colourpop. These are the second palette I try and I really like this. I understand why people love their shadows. They are really really good and they wear good. When I tried the Yes Please palette, it was on for the whole day. So I really like it. And really like this palette so if you want if you want it buy it it's good so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please press like and if you are not subscribing please subscribe so you don't miss anything anything and one of my videos so I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one bye Who do you think you are? Dreaming about being a big star